Well, hey, everybody. Hope you're all doing well, staying safe, staying calm in these crazy times. Hey, you know, I forgot to do my hair. Let's do this. Here's a secret segment. This is how I comb my hair. I just got out of the shower. I'm doing my hair. This is, this is unprecedented. I forgot, and now I'm just doing it live. So what I do is I try to get it in some semblance of something, you know, try to not have too much stuff sticking up, and then I put a little hairspray on it while it's still wet. Yeah? No? Yes? No? Perhaps? Maybe? Jimmy Neutron calling. There we go. That's close enough. All right, put this stuff away. <laughs> oh, sorry. Behind the scenes stuff. Now we're, let's, you know, it's crazy times. Things are going to be unexpected. But now, let's get back to the expected. Now, you know, even though we're all like, you know, stuck indoors, got cabin fever, we're going crazy, we're, you know, looking to YouTube and Netflix and Disney Plus and everything else for our entertainment, and we're not going out and doing stuff. But I'll tell you what, this past week I got two or th no, I got three packages worth of stuff. And I'd like to show you some of them uh, sent to me from China. And where was this other one sent? This is, this is something I'm not going to show you now. But this is a crazy new razor system. I mean, look at this. This is a huge box. So I'm going to show you this in an upcoming video because there is some... This came from uh, Miami, Florida. And... It, this is going to take some 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 construction. We'll see what I'm talking about. Hopefully, I can do it. But uh, they sent me this, and uh, I, it, the thing with getting mail these days is that you don't want to touch it, right? <laughs> so I got this in the mail. I let it sit out for like three days. So anything, any germs on it should be gone by now. Wash your hands. I'm gonna wash my hands while we're doing this. No, I don't know. And then, as I said in that video yesterday, my good friend May over at DS Cosmetics and all the people over there sent me a care package with all of these brushes. Now, there's another one. That's the one I'm going to use today. And I'm going to tell you about these brushes as we, uh, you know, as I make more videos coming up and I'll use them. One's a boar hair. One's a synthetic. Look at this. Look at it. It's a red. Isn't that beautiful? So, and I'm going to use one of them today, which caught everyone's eye when I showed it in the post. And not only did May send me that, but here's the two boxes of masks she sent me in case I need to use it. I haven't, I've got one in my car. I haven't used one because they say you don't necessarily have to unless you're sick to help people around you from getting sick. So the one I'm going to use today is the barber pole one. It's been soaking. That's why it looks like that. The barber pole one. And you know what? May asked if I need a new signature brush. I'm thinking that this should be my new signature brush with maybe a white uh, not on top. What do you think? Because this is this is like Barbasol, baby. Look at this. Huh? There's a thumbnail for you. What do you think of that? So, May, if you're watching, this is my new signature brush, but maybe with a white knot on top. And then Sinatra Lennon on the bottom. Anyway, we're going to shave with this today. And I've been watching YouTube shavers. I was watching Ken Surf, so I wanted to see what everybody else is doing. So, as I said, I just did my hair, as you saw. Took a shower. And uh, what am I going to shave with today? Well, you saw the brush, and I'm going to try, speaking of Barbasol, this CAD from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. This is the Cease and Desist, which smells like old-fashioned Barbasol. Not like modern Barbasol, but more like an older version of Barbasol from back in the day. So I'm going to do this. I did one video on it a while back, and I'm going to do another one right now. So I'm going to just scoop some out, and I'm going to put it. What am I going to put it in? I'm going to put it in a bowl. I'm going to put it in an empty margaritas in the Arctic bowl, which I keep down here. It's not a proper shaving bowl, but this is just goes to show you don't need a proper shaving bowl. Just get it in there. I'm going to smear it around a little bit. Get all that stuff, all the goodness I don't want to lose in the oven. And that's what we're going to lather up in. Yeah, you don't have to be fancy. You know I'm not fancy. I don't want to be fancy. Uh, I'm not fancy, so that's good. So, yeah, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, C-A-D, stands for Cease and Desist, because Barbasol said, no, 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 got to keep that brand, got to keep that brand. That's right, I understand. Ooh, business, that smells good. And I'm going to shave with Grandpa Grungy today. Now I'm going to do it differently. I'm, i got a feather blade in here, which I've been kind of souring on the feather blades recently, because I've been getting a lot more nicks. Like, you saw that last one on Monday where I nicked myself here and here. I've got like an ingrown hair thing going on over here. I did not shave yesterday. If I look extra scruffy, that's why. Um, so I was watching Ken Surfs, and he, I think he was using a slim adjustable, and he did it on three. Now, he used a Voshold blade, pronunciation. Voshold? You let me know if I 
pronounced it right. And he did it on three. Now, normally I use this on a seven. This a 1960 Fat Boy um, vintage razor. I'm going to try it on a three. Very mild. I'm looking for a more mild shave today, even though I have, you know, a day and a half worth of growth. Um, yeah, I'm going to try that. So let's do it. And then for the, I've been digging in my, in my drawers. <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> no, stop. Um, yeah, so I got out the old cold fusion aftershave from Wet the Face. Extremely mentholated, but I kind of feel like crying at the end of this. It's going to make me cry. This stuff is so strong. All right. So, took a shower, did my hair, as you saw. And now we're going to lather up with the beautiful Barber Pole Synthetic 24 millimeter Knot from DS Cosmetics over on AliExpress. I always put a link down below for anything I talk about. If you're in the UK and you want to shop with my partners over at executive-shaving.co.uk, check that out in the link below. Use Sinatra5 for a discount code. All right, let's lather up. Let's get the cease and desist going. I don't want to use too much water because you can always add more, but I want to get a good lather going. And I want to see if I can just lather up in an old empty plastic bowl. I haven't actually haven't done this before. I've had this in my drawer forever with the with the old cheapy Vanderhagen, uh, which is like I own two shaving bowls, a metal one and the cheapy Vanderhagen. Oh, this stuff smells good. It does not smell like modern Barbasol, but it's not supposed to. It's supposed to smell like a vintage Barbasol. It doesn't smell like my vintage Barbasol from the 50s, so I'm not sure what time frame they were going for. It's a little soupy. I may have put too much water in here, but I'm going to try it. Yeah, that's not too bad. Holding its peaks. Yeah, kind of like uh, when, you, when you're whipping up egg whites. This video might be longer than normal because I'm rambling, talking about all this stuff. But what else am I going to do? Go down with the kids and do a Zoom meeting? My youngest one is on a Zoom meeting right now. I wish I had stock in Zoom. Hmm. And somebody joked, oh, the Brady Bunch was using Zoom way back in the day. Those six people in six squares stacked on top of each other. Mm. This brush this is the first time I've used this brush because I just got it out of the mail. Uh, I, I let it sit around for a couple of days. I actually let this one sit outside. Sorry, May. It came from China. I let it sit outside for like two and a half days. Make sure anything. And then I wipe the boxes down when I open it up. I wash these off. We're all just like, you know, neurotic right now. So pardon me. It's no, no comment on China as a whole or anything. It's just a crazy new thing that we're all dealing with. But this stuff, this is a great brush. DS Cosmetics. They do my signature brush. I would get it, but it's behind a bunch of products. You know what it looks like. Go back and watch some videos. You'll see. And this is lathering beautifully, beautifully. I'm glad I took the time to do it in a bowl to really kind of build it up. It smells great. Once I got over the fact that I wasn't trying to make it smell exactly like modern Barbasol, then, uh, then I really started to enjoy it. I kind of, you know, let my guard down a little bit. Okay, three on three. I never use this on three, but I'm going to go for a mild shave. I'm going to be extra careful. I feel like I've been cutting myself too much lately, and I don't want to. And I was watching Ken Surf's yesterday. Happy birthday, by the way, Ken, if you're watching this. Happy belated birthday. And he was just like... You know, you, you watch him shave, he's just like so smooth, doesn't even, just like that, just like butter. And I can feel it, I can feel the blade, even on three, so it's not too mild. It's interesting to watch, you know, everybody has a different technique, right? Like I kind of do this, I go do, 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 do. I don't know if that's right or wrong. I don't know if I'll get less nicks if I just pull it straight down my face. It's just the way I do it. Now, here's where I got to be careful because I kept reopening this little bump. So I'm going to shave. First, I'm just going to sh shave near where I was getting cut, right? So this is for people that ask me, you know, I have acne. How do you shave with acne? And I always recommend really sensitive razors, real mild razors. Well, I got this on a mild setting, and you just kind of avoid it and get as close as you can. Like there was, you know, this little skin bump where I cut myself. And I'm going to have to do the same thing over here, because that ingrown hair is also giving me troubles when I would shave my neck. 
And necks are always hard, man. I don't know what it is about necks. I don't know why. They're like, they're pretty flat. See, there it was. I just went right over. There's a little bump there where I got an ingrown hair that I got to deal with at some point. And I just went extremely lightly over it. And we all know this, right? If you've been watching shaving videos enough with safety razors, you just, you know, you don't press hard. I still get lots of questions, you know. I, I got to temper my new content with uh, a little bit of guidance for people that, you know, maybe just stumbled across my video for some reason. Maybe it was, <laughs> maybe it was recommended for some strange reason. And uh, so I, I throw in little basic tips every now and then. So I, for all of you veterans, don't mind me. All right. Very, very not smooth. Like when I put this on seven with a feather, the feather this is like done. But uh, right now, because it's on three and I went real extra light, I still got plenty of stubble to get rid of. Get a little bit more in there. I'm loving this brush. Good job, DS Cosmetics. And somebody said, you know, DS Cosmetics is, their main store is on AliExpress. And that's one of those things where sometimes you order stuff and it doesn't arrive. Uh, you know, you buy you know, guitars or clothing or, you know, knockoff products. But then it gets a really great, solid company like DS Cosmetics in May over there. I know I'm singing your praises a lot this week, May. But um, they're real people. It's not some nameless, faceless company. They're actually creating really good products and shipping them out. In fact, one of the one of my subscribers ordered my signature brush and it didn't arrive. And you know, things get hung up in customs and you know, I, I ordered a guitar one time a few years ago and it just never showed up. You just never know. But I got in contact with DS Cosmetics and I said, hey, this guy ordered one, could you help him out? And I gave him, they said, yes, contact us via this email or our Facebook page and we'll sort it out. And they got it sorted out. They sent a new one off to him. So DS Cosmetics, great company to deal with, always been real nice. They make great stuff. These brushes are fantastic. This brush, I just checked, I'll put links to, to, to this brush, 16 bucks. Synthetic, 24 millimeter knot, barber pole. So good looking. Everybody was commenting, oh, that barber pole. And I had to agree, that was the one I really, really caught my eye when I opened them up. So I'll put a link down below. Always link, okay, here we go again. I'm going up against the grain, gotta watch out for that problem area. There we go, ooh, doing well. See, I'm learning from Ken Surfs. I didn't use a Volkswagen blade, I used a feather blade, but I got it down on three. And sometimes your skin needs that, because I felt like there was a while, there was kind of a, a long stretch where I was cutting myself too much, even in normal, when I'm not filming a video, you know? I don't know, I think I was just going too fast or something. Now it's getting there. This is why we do three passes. This is why. You let the, you kind of ease back, you let the razor do the work, and it'll do the work. All right, get a little bit more stuff. Oh, love it, love it. I just got the sample one, that's why it's so small, because I didn't know if I would like it. And that's the great thing about Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. You can get samples. And I think most places can, uh, will allow you to order samples too. I know Sterling does. Mmm, this stuff smells so good. You know, the first time I tried it, I was a little hung up on just the scent. Like, this doesn't smell like barb soul. But it's got its own smell. And I'm digging it. I let go of my hang-ups, man. <laughs> Maybe I was watching too many California videos. Okay, third and final pass. Kind of up like this, diagonal, 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 diagonal. I'm just learning to speak English. I think I sound pretty good. How you say? All right, here we go. Rinse it off, go lightly. Come on, Sinatra, come on. 
I know we all been watching we've we've all been watching a lot of YouTube lately. And for some reason I've gotten on this Jackie Gleason kick. I was never a big fan of Jackie Gleason. He, uh, you know, I, I was kind of forced to watch the Honeymooners when I was a kid on reruns. Like at night there'd be nothing on and oh the Honeymooners are on. I was like, <laughs> It was a little too but I've been, you know, I've been watching videos and interviews with him, and he was just part of that generation that, like, hung out with guys like Sinatra and Dean Martin and Jerry Lewis back in the 40s and 50s. And and lived it up, you know? They were out drinking at Toot Shores in New York City and the Stork Club and the 21 Club, and I just, I've been losing myself in these old beautiful old saloons, you know, it's like, ah, I wish I could go back in time and visit some of these historic nightclubs, like the Copacabana in the 50s, or Toots Shores Saloon up in New York City, if you've ever heard of him, there's a documentary out about him, he just, he was a saloon owner that everybody went to, Joe DiMaggio hung out there, I'm really showing my age, folks, I'm talking about a lot of old stuff, <laughs> I apologize to all my young viewers. Actually, I don't apologize. You need to look into what I'm talking about. If you want to see what celebrities were like back in the good old days, when they actually had like a tiny amount of talent behind their personality. Actually, they had a lot of talent. A lot of talent. Professionals. Oh, I got one tiny nick there. Dang. I thought I was going to get through it without, but that's okay. Day before yesterday when I shaved, I was just, I'd cut myself to ribbons. I don't know why. I guess I just wasn't paying attention or something. Who knows? Oh, I am loving the smell of this stuff. Okay, come on. Got to get it under my nostrils. This is going to be tough because that's right where, ooh, that little cut, the two little cuts were, I don't want to reopen. Sorry. We are closed. Oh, I think I did it. I don't want to speak too soon, but I think I did it. That's it. It's just about being careful, isn't it? You know? If you want tips or advice about safety razor shaving, just be careful. Just be careful. I know I was supposed to do a shout-out or two today, but I, it's on my phone and I can't do it right now. I forgot when I was preparing all this other stuff. So don't worry, you have plenty of time for shout outs. That was good. That was a good shave. I like that. I'm, 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 I like the idea of, of the milder Grandpa Grungy. Because he normally gives me nicks, but I always have it on seven with a feather. That's probably too much. It's probably too much. I don't need to show off. I don't need to prove anything. Right? Okay, cold water. And then an even colder aftershave. Ah. Make do, folks. Just get a bowl. It doesn't have to be fancy. Just get an empty bowl. Make sure you get the ice cream leavings out of it or the cereal. Take the milk out, you know. At least rinse it out. But yeah, grab yourself a bowl. Make yourself some lather. Why not? Okay. Cold fusion from wet the face. Ultra mentholate. I need to shake it up because you do see little menthol crystals floating around in there. Yeah, looks like sea monkeys. See those little sea monkeys? <laughs> I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry from this. You'll see. I always do. I always do. Oh, oh, and it didn't burn at all. Thank you, Ken Surfs, for inspiring me to shave more properly. Ooh, it's starting to burn my lip. Alcohol and menthol. Whew. Are y'all drinking more or less these days? Because I need to know whether I need to catch up or not. I'm drinking in moderation, but I do have a nice scotch just about every night where I used to not do it every single night, but I have at least one little glass, and that's enough. Puts me out. Oh, so good. This was really good. I'm glad y'all uh, joined me for this. And this barber pole, man. Oof. May, this is my new signature. Make a white, uh, you know, synthetic knot. I think that'd be kind of cool. Put a little Sinatra Lennon logo on the bottom. Good stuff. <sighs> All right, well, time to homeschool the kids. Now, somebody said, well, you're not homeschooling. 
You're just getting them through a crisis. So if, you, if you're feeling bad about your kids being home and it's like, I can't do this, I'm not a teacher, neither am I. My wife is, thank goodness. She is the backbone of this family right now. She's doing such a great job. And the kids are doing all right, too. And now I'm starting to cry. I'm not getting sentimental. It's the menthol. I'm not crying. It's just the menthol in my eyes. All right, everybody. Have a great weekend. i got to have a live hangout. I'm sorry I haven't. This has been a real long video. I'm sorry for that, too. But I will see you all on Monday. Stay safe.